All right, now that we know our footwork for our traveling left turn, let's put this into our cross body leads. The first one we're gonna do is our cross body lead in frame, okay? We understand from our right and left turns, that DVD that you guys already have and probably watch and mastered, that we wanna make sure our hands stay flat and our fingers together. Again, our hands wanna act as a ball bearing. Now I'm gonna keep my hold or my frame while I do this turn. I don't want to break my frame on this one. So this is what this looks like. On count three, I prep. One, two, three, she turns five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Good, I'll show you from this angle. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Good, let me break that down a little bit. First thing with the hands. On count three, I'm gonna bring this hand down. One, two, three. Yes, notice the path. The hands are ready. I'm gonna keep my hands flat, just like the stirring in our right turn. I'm gonna stir her. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Good, let me bring her back over here. I kept contact with my left hand, excuse me, my right hand. As she's coming through, this hand slides forward, so she's gonna step forward as she's gonna turn. Five, as she starts to turn, my hand slides from her shoulder blade down to her hip. I use the edge of my hand, not my whole hand. Remember, we're gentlemen here. So you gotta be very careful and respect the lady's body and therefore you're just gonna use the edge of your hand. And as she finishes the turn, my hand will slide right back up her back in order to get back into my dance frame. I'll try and do that again, nice and slow motion. Just trust me, gentlemen, use the edge of your hand, barely touch her, just keep contact and keep her in her frame. So, I transition on three. One, two, three, she turns, I stir or I trace the halo. And as she comes through, the hand slides down, then back up and we're in our frame again. Ladies, you notice Edna, in order to finish her turn, she does sometimes a little brush, but the point is she picks up that arm, clears my body and puts it back into her frame. Let's watch Edna do that in instant replay. So, we have one, two, three, watch Edna now, not Damien. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. What she is doing and we're both doing is we're paying attention to each other. She's aware of where I am and I'm aware of where she is. Therefore, when she's taking her hand up, she's not gonna shove these long nails of hers in my nostrils or poke me in the eye or elbow me in the forehead. She has to be aware of where her partner is. You don't wanna walk off the dance floor all bruised and broken. The idea is to have another dance. Gentlemen, the idea with the hands and arm is ladies have you know, landmines here and there you have to be careful for. So that's why when I take this hand here, during the turn, I slide it down and I move it back up to clear you know what so it doesn't get in the way and come back up. You'll know if you made a mistake because we might get a little sore on the cheek. So once again, this is your cross by leading your frame. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So very good, cross by lead with an inside underarm turn in your frame. Now we're gonna do the exact same turn, but this time we're gonna do it with our open hand hold. Now I'll let go of her. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Very good, we'll do it from this angle here. Again, the footwork doesn't change. It's just we're changing the appearance of it all by using an open hand hold. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now she didn't have to clear my body, but she still is gonna keep that same technique and she can do anything she wants with that arm now because I'm not taking her back. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Aha, uh -huh. now we combine both a cross by the lead with a left turn or inside left turn and a right turn to finish that one. Of course, now we're taking my right and left turn combinations and moving into my cross by the lead turns. You can do that because you're good. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna go into our twisting turn. So, this is gonna add more momentum, more speed. You'll eventually wanna get into double turns on this. And by creating this twisting action, you allow your partner or the lady to create a lot of momentum by opening up her body. So, I'll do a basic first, five, six, seven. Twist, 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 she turns, 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 and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's see if we can get her to do a double turn. Okay. There we go, you ready? I'll just do a, a basic first. I'm gonna switch sides. Align myself. Here we go. One basic, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, she turns five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. That was good. High five. 
Wonderful, let's just see that again. <laughs> now, ladies, she's turning by herself. I am helping her turn. The man, you're still stirring her, but you have to be very, very careful. Too much and you throw her off balance. Too little and she might stall out. But Edna's creating a lot of momentum during the turn. You'll also watch her feet. She's keeping her feet as tight as possible because she's holding the grape between her thighs and a quarter between her butt cheeks. But that's a little bit more detailed in the information. Since she's turning to the left, she's going to drive her right side of her body around as fast as you can. I'll repeat that again. Not only is she holding her posture, keeping her feet together, but if she's turning left, she takes her right side around as fast as she can, keeping her eye on her partner. She's very relaxed in her arm. If she pushes up against me or pulls down in any negative way, that will actually push her off her center or off balance. So ladies, if you're turning and you're getting thrown off balance, check yourself first. Are you pushing up against your partner? Men, if you, she's thrown off balance, then don't lead her on a double turn. Make her feel good and safe by leading her on a single turn. So once again, we have the twister. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Good, enjoy that one, that was a good one. Work up to that double turn. Don't start slinging girls around like you're slinging rocks. Just nice and easy and gentle with your lead. And when you can feel a girl who can create momentum, then try that double turn during that cross by your lead. Wonderful. Okay, moving right along, we've got the hand. So we have a hand hold, we have the open hold, we have the open hold with a twist. Now, if that's the case, we can move to any part of her body to lead a cross by the lead with an inside turn. I'm first going to go for her shoulder. So just to teach you guys, I'm going to have you notice that I'm going to take her shoulder here. I do a cross by lead. One, two, three. Same.